You know, Anton, normally I'd have to... And more to... importantly, the total cost of this project was about one thousandth of the Hubble telescope. I'd normally have to force the lake and just get it off of the... the this? Where was this on Fox and News and everywhere else? Even more precision than the Hubble. Something that was previously probably not actually possible, a hundred but it's not the, a the cost, strong, reliable, looks repairable, I like can bring it down. It. But that's basically what the team behind the project decided you know, that's... to do. They decided to combine these super pressure balloons from NASA and build a slightly smaller Maybe version there of the Hubble telescope to that's going to be attached to the balloon and launched for several months to orbit the planet and to take incredible photos of the universe. Yeah, I'm and because down. it's going to be orbiting above about 99. Well, it, 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 it kind of there's times when you got to look at that and it's like, man, those space observatories are, are really like atmospheric effects that are normally produced by fancy picture cameras, but it's and just so in the upper atmosphere. Now Voyager did some special exactly stuff. I'm going to give Voyager so its due. All, the video you see right that was important for a lot of different reasons. During the first initial stages of testing, since then, the telescope has been upgraded a lot, and the scientists have been able to create something that looks like this. It's the a space smaller station version of a typical space a telescope. The size of the mirror here is about 50 centimeters, which is significantly smaller than the one on Hubble we'll and, of course, the one on the later. James Webb telescope. But it's still large enough to be able to see a lot of things. And if this mission works well, the scientists are planning to upgrade the size of the mirror, making it about one and a half meters, which is actually just a little bit smaller than the mirror on Hubble. This right here is about 2.4 meters in size, and the maximum size for the Superbit is about two meters, so it's almost a Hubble telescope. And when launched, it's going to be circulating the planet Let's get at an altitude of two. about 40 kilometers in the air. But they're cheap. And because these are human Tenth. balloons, they can actually stay in the air for uh, an extremely thousand. long time, until they pop. But in this case, they're designed not to pop. Well, it's, they uh, do lose helium it's really an economic really budget time, and from differential this, in time. That's, decrease, that's where you get that. By then, the mission is already it. finished. More importantly, though, back in 2019, the scientists behind this mission the were able to successfully demonstrate yeah. the ability yeah. to stabilize this Watch telescope, creating just as much sharpness as an actual Hubble telescope, which is really impressive. It means that despite any kind of a shaking or moving that it's going to be doing up in the air, the actual images are still going to be extremely sharp, with this right here being a perfect example. But even though this is not the first time a scientific experiment has been done in the upper uh, atmosphere, this will be the first time that an actual telescope is launched that high. Can it but can more it importantly, move this itself? will be the first time that a balloon would actually be used for an optical telescope to observe various regions in the universe. It can move itself. But the mission itself be being really simple. Deep field? You launch the balloon, Something and then like it that. circulates around the planet. Well, we don't need to deep field it again. Working at night like, and trying no to take as many pictures of the universe as it can during Satellite the nighttime, and stuff. while then using its solar panels to recharge during the day. And with the total mission cost of about $5 million, this would definitely open up an opportunity for One many rich guy different universities and many put different that on researchers NASA. I'm, I'm to be down. able to join in and to participate Get in the similar name on missions it, do it or that even way. to create their own. With the most important feature being the same one as on the Hubble telescope, it's going to be so easy to upgrade this after every mission is finished. Shit because up in that cameras space generally improve so it's cool. every few years, every time the optics are upgraded on this telescope, its actual resolution and of course its ability to take incredible pictures, at least hypothetically, could turn this into one of the most important telescopes yeah. in operation. And with the official demise of Hubble telescope sometime in the next few years, the Superbit telescope is going to remain as the only telescope capable of good, very like beautiful, I said, you can smoke high resolution, kids with multicolor it. pictures, I love and it. even ultraviolet observations, something that currently Hubble telescope is really famous for. But since it's already running on its backup computers, and those computers are also extremely old, it's only a matter of time before Hubble fails completely, Turn and of course for good. Look at us. And according to the team behind Superbit, they even suggest that in a few years, when the cameras get really, really good, and also when the lenses are improved quite dramatically, eventually this might even become a larger instrument and a more capable instrument than the Hubble telescope. And if there are a lot of these balloons flying around, yeah, collecting that a lot of pictures, their power can also be combined to create some sort satellites, of satellite like telescope. For, this is, of course, something uh, that a lot of scientists are hoping Amazon to create in the next decade or so. Cell for signals now, though, and stuff like that. It's a first step, and the official mission that's going to be launched that from junk. New Zealand in Hopefully April we'll be able to recycle it. is going to be an important first step in advancing our ability to learn more about the universe and to try to solve a lot of mysteries in outer NASA. space. And so these balloon telescopes could actually become the future of telescopes on the planet. 
Shape to own somebody to go watch Much Anton's work after this. They're not going way to. Easier to produce. It's like, it's like look, if University. you expect me to do work Assuming and stuff, I can't. Still human I'm well. not rich like that. We I are can't. actually sort of running out of helium. But we'll talk more about this in some of the future videos. But as you can Why probably Anton's imagine, my it's face also going to very likely increase the amount of so-called UFO reports. As a matter of fact, one of the few times I have officially seen a UFO somewhere Definitely out there was when I saw some sort of a strange, sparkling, circular object moving across the atmosphere really, really far away. Now, back then I was really young, so I had no idea what I was looking at, but later on I learned that this was actually a scientific experiment launched on a typical stratospheric balloon. But because of the unusual shape of this particular balloon that the scientists even referred to as the pumpkin balloon, with the actual shape sort of resembling a flying saucer, I can only imagine what's going to happen in a few years when we have all of these flying around everywhere, taking the pictures of the nice guys. <sighs> but I guess we'll worry about this when the time comes. For now, well first of all, huge congratulations to the entire team behind this project, yeah. and second of all, I can't wait for this to be it launched does. and for this to start producing incredible results. Until then, thank you for watching, too. subscribe if you still haven't, check out the relevant links in the description yeah, below, sometimes and share this with some of the robots based sciences. Ass. Maybe come back tomorrow to learn something else. Maybe support this channel on Patreon by joining the channel membership or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description below. And either way, stay wonderful, awesome, and as always, bye-bye. Good stuff, man. That was a good one. That was a, that was a good one.